Sexy and affordability should not be separate. You should be able to get a beautiful scent, feel overly confident, and not be on your phone making life decisions between fragrance and dinner. I'm hungry. We can all enjoy the hobby while still smelling absolutely amazing, having that external liquid courage, and leaving a little money in our pocket. All the fragrances that I'm gonna be showcasing in this video, I think the most expensive one is about $70, and these are all gray market pricing, meaning you purchase these fragrances online. You don't buy retail. Always look for a coupon, get that Honey app, Reckon Tour, whatever the hell that thing is called. Get discounts wherever you can potentially find them. But the majority of the fragrances in this video are gonna be anywhere from like 30 or late 20s to 60 bucks, 70 absolute tops. Let's roll my music so I can put you on to 10 sexy and affordable fragrances that you need to try immediately. <laughs> Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Bowling on a budget, Papo. It's never been ever in life. The more you spend on a fragrance, the better you smell. That is crazy. We need to go back to the roots, the essences, the overall perspective is. I love how this smells on me. I've been doing content creation in the fragrance space for over 10 years, and I always thought of myself as a one-stop shop. I cater from the $10 to $20 clone fragrances for the regular dude on the block who just wants to smell dope while he's sitting outside suffering, drinking a nice cold beverage in a paper bag or solo cup, all the way to the douchebag hedge fund broker that has no problem spending $1,000 on a fragrance and being the biggest swinging dick in the room. The issue is that there's so many content creators with different perspectives and a lot of people fall into this frag come oh i need to have this i want to be cool like that i want to have all the fragrances that forget all that shit you don't need none of that to smell amazing no way in mathematical theory in the pythagorean theorem of life that fragrance equates to money that's crazy so i'm gonna put you on to 10 fragrances all under that 70 dollars price point when you purchase online gray market purchases do not buy retail ever in life even if you get a five dollar coupon that shit is important so the first fragrance i'm gonna start off with is an absolute sleeper nobody puts it ever on any list i've had it on various lists for a ton of years because i truly don't get a ton of wear out of a ton of fragrances that I have because I get shit every day but that fragrance is Givenchy gentlemen only I'll give you a quick breakdown of the notes because they're listed right in the back of the bottle so it starts off with birch leaf cedarwood patchouli vetiver skin accord which is the weirdest shit ever now this is an eau de toilette concentration so the performance isn't ridiculous but it's not bad either so the easy way to describe this fragrance is a fresh woody soapy fragrance with elegance beauty sophistication a true handsome scent profile if I do say so myself Realistically, this fragrance is in the $40 space. I think this is an absolute sleeper fragrance and a great daily wear that I think is ultra handsome, especially for the price, and you're getting a designer brand on a budget. Stop bitching, next one. One of the most amazing signature scents out there. I've loved it from the beginning and will forever be in my collection, Yves Saint Laurent Loam. An absolute definition of no-brainer. It kills your brain cells, son. It kills your brain cells. One of the most deliciously handsome gingery scent profiles in the space. Yves Saint Laurent, when they came out with this fragrance, they put their foot in it. They had one goal in mind with the creation of this fragrance. Compliment handsome men. Gentlemen, the dude who buys at Brooks Brothers. His workout clothes are from Lululemon. He's got a membership at Equinox. But like everything else, once it hits the gray market, shit hits the tank. And this is like $40 to $60 depending on where you buy it. Maybe $70. This is probably the most expensive fragrance on this list. Shop it around. You will find it for a cheap price. It doesn't have a ton of high a lot of people around you are not going to be wearing this fragrance. It was a popular, popular scent maybe six, seven years ago. Right now, it's kind of trickled off because of all the other hype, whether it be TikTok or YouTube. So you can be smelling completely unique and ultra handsome on a budget. Next one. Full disclosure, I chose this one with an open mind. This is not a fragrance that I feature on a lot of lists. Why? Because it's heavily inspired by Creed Aventus, and that's Mont Blanc Explorer. Now I know, longtime ball sprayer fans that follow my channel for a minute know how I feel about this scent. But the fact of the matter is, is it good? It is good. A lot of people are gonna like this joint. Yes, you can get a lot of those same essences from like a Club de Nuit fragrance or whatever. That's fine. In a designer space, some people just don't wanna go that cloney route or they just feel some type of way or batch variations just 
just don't perform on those clone fragrances or they don't want to go through that maceration period. It could be a cornucopia of shit why they don't want to go that route. They want to feel more comfortable that a company that charges $400 for a pen can produce an amazing fragrance. And they're not necessarily wrong. The reason why I hated on this fragrance is was at the time of release of this fragrance, it was wildly redundant. And that hasn't changed, but the fact that it can get compliments, it is a very handsome scent profile. It is a designer brand with a lot of history and a lot of success in the space. And it's still 40 to 60 bucks. So Mont Black Explorer will get you compliments. It is a sexy scent profile. It's just not something that I personally reach for a ton. But who am I to deprive you of something that's gonna smell fire, right? That would be me being an asshole. And I'm already enough of that in real life. Next one. This fragrance punches Tom Ford's Tuscan leather right in the uvula. La Yuka Wan by Rosasi. Sexy, dusty, dry, masculine cowboy leather. A beautiful, tart, raspberry essence that screams, oh shit, I've arrived. They're here. There's levels of elegance when it comes to perfumery and this budget fragrance also in that $40 to $60 space, potentially even cheaper depending on where you shop it online, can blow your nuts off, especially in the fall and winter. It's been on a ton of creators lists. It's been around for a while. Rasasi knows how to make a strong fragrance and this must be one of the best in their lineup. Ultra masculine. If you like Tom Ford Tuscan leather, but you just don't like the price point, even on gray market pricing, then this is an absolute no brainer, no thought process needed. I can consider this shit like a must have in any fragrance collector's repertoire if they're open. Like if they're niche snobs, they're not gonna give three fucks about this joint. But if you have an open mind and a tight wallet, La Yuka Wam, come on bro, delicious. Now this joint just trickled into the gray market in a $40 price point. There's a couple of websites there. I don't know how much quantity they have, but Roberto Cavalli Womo translation, shit's fire. Woody, powdery, elegant, masculine, tuxedo wearing, custom suit rocking, high calf silk sock wearing, double monk strap owning, fucking debonair individual. Elegancia. This is the aha moment like, yo, you don't need to spend a million dollars to make a perfume smell amazing. I consider Womo like the cat's out of the bag. Roberto Cavalli, when it comes to the fragrance space, has a nice reputation, but it has zero hype behind. Now this fragrance and the rest of the Womo line are like one of the most under rated sleeper collections in perfumery in my personal opinion. They're all absolutely fantastical, versatile, and you can own every single one of those fragrances in that line and have the perfect amount of versatility and balling on a budgetness that you're looking for to play in the perfumery game. As an old school genius marketing conglomerate once said, why pay more when you can pay less? Next one. I don't know how many people are going to be enjoying this fragrance, but I also don't think a lot of people are into the plum game or even know what plummy scent profiles smell like. So Vintage Radio by Latafa, I think is a perfect entry point into smelling absolutely amazing plum notes. It is sweet, it is woody. There's a little bit of a irisy lipstick bag kind of powderiness in this scent profile that is ultra handsome. Sure, your shorty can wear this joint too. I don't discriminate. Mommies, wear any and all of these joints. I could use a little estrogen slash masculinity in my life. Beat me into submission, I love the kink. How'd I just railroad off a of fragrance into some kinky shit? I have issues. Juicy, dry, musky, woody, powdery, cheap. Very handsome, very good performance. Well, it has a little bit of a high bubble. I think it's still underrated. There's a lot of personality in this joint. And to give you some sort of blueprint, if you're into the niche perfumery, this is supposed to be an interpretation of Initio's Paragon. Now I don't have Paragon. I had a sample of Paragon. I will be getting Paragon soon. Then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But in the meantime, for $40, sign me up, bucko. Now I mentioned it before, the Aventus DNA out of Creed is wildly popular. There are so many inspirations for that fragrance but with the creed absolute this one has a little bit of a hybrid of both and that's the new club de nuit precious it got sold out for a minute it's back on the market and it's hovering in that 50 60 dollar space but this one has that club de nuit essence that aventus ish type flow with a little bit of the cinnamon attribute that the absolute has i think that this plays beautifully off the skin and it actually performs very well this has a little bit of that armaf club de nuit dna with a kicked up level of maturity in my opinion this might potentially be one of my favorites in that lineup especially how it's smells on my skin. Now granted, it's off of my skin. Will it smell the same on yours? Absolutely not, unless my mother was sleeping around and you're a stepchild. And in that case, I love you. And I gotta call my mother. So in this fragrance, you got mass appeal DNA, sexy factor, versatility, signature scent, summertime, fall, winter, wear whenever, however, with whatever you have. And you're gonna pull a compliment from this fragrance for sure, if you're well put together. Granted, if you don't wash your ass, if you smell like New York City dump truck juice, 
If you got a white t-shirt with yellow armpit stains. If the shit streak on your underwear looks like a racing stripe on a Porsche GT3 RS, not even your mother's gonna compliment you. So don't blame the fragrance, blame your hygiene. I still think that this cheapy designer fragrance, not only in the designer space doesn't get a ton of love, but this fragrance itself, I still think nobody gives a shit about it and they should. Coach Platinum. Coach Platinum is a beautiful, spicy, vanillic fragrance with beautiful leathery tones. Like, bro, this is handsome. There's a little bit of a tangerine pop on the opening. You got a little bit of an ambery flow. You get the nice peppery spice. Bro, this shit is delicious. And it's like 30 bucks. You know how much I sacrificed? on the gray market. Good performance, nice scent profile. I think the best coach fragrance in my opinion. And it's definitely not restricted to a young fuckboy. This has a lot of versatility. You could throw it in your bag. This shit could break and you're not gonna bat an eye cause it costs the same as a fucking coffee. Bro, this shit is good as fuck. I might just wear this as my scent of the day. I mean, it's really that fucking good. Next one. Now these last fragrances I'm gonna share. It's nine and 10 and none of these joints are in any particular order, but they're both from the same brand that blew my nuts off when I smelled these fragrances. I'm Shocked, bewildered, confused, befuddled. That's not a word. In pure awe that Mercedes Benz was able to make Select Night and Club Black two incredible date night budget fragrances. I don't know if these shits came with like a purchase of a Benz, but they absolutely should have. Who in their right minds would ever, ever, ever think that Mercedes Benz, a car brand that has a questionable history, you know what I'm saying? Overseas, Germany, ring a bell, could produce such bangers of sexy date night, fall, signature scent, any other, put this shit Louis Vuitton, put a Givenchy label on it, put a Tom Ford label on it. Nobody's gonna bat an eye paying two, 300 bucks for this type of scent profile. They'll be like, yeah, no, this is definitely it. Reprogram your minds back into the space of Yo, fragrance and money do not live in the same, it doesn't, come on, these are not good, they're great. So Mercedes-Benz Select Night and Club Black, absolute banger, sexy, affordable scent profiles in again that 30 to $60 space, makes no sense. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I hope you enjoyed this list. Keep in mind, you don't have to spend the ton to smell absolutely amazing. Number one, wash your ass. Number two, get a haircut. Number three, should have been number one, brush your fucking teeth and scrape that tongue. Number four, Steam your clothes. Number five, get some mints. Number six, build some confidence. Number seven, manscape your nuts. Number eight, if you weren't born with a personality, build one or steal somebody's identity. Number nine, never get high on your own supply. And number 10, get a dope fragrance that matches your wallet. Act your wage. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put links to these fragrances in the description as well as a bunch of other cheapy scents that you guys can check out, test out. If you can buy samples, go ahead and do so. You can run to the department stores at Sephora and Macy's to the little old lady with the pearl necklace be like, yo, spray me down, wear it for the whole day, then go buy that shit online. You don't gotta buy it there. Don't let them pressure you into nothing. I'll see y'all bitches next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you know who it is. Biggest in the game, Smooches. Test. Tell him. Who Put the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, start tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>